Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Blanca with Furniture with Imagination. Today I'm collaborating with Amy Howard at Home Products again to give you a demonstration on how to use certain products. Today we're going to be updating this washstand to make it a little bit more modern. Um, the stain is kind of worn out. It's still in good shape, but we want to actually make, give it a boost and make it look beautiful. We're going to be using this gel stain on walnut. This is a water-based stain, uh, and you can apply it right on top of the old stain without stripping, sanding, or doing anything else. It's very easy. And we're gonna be using one-step paint on black to paint certain parts of it and give it a different look. It's very easy. Uh, we're also going to be using clean slate to clean the piece completely before starting the process. Okay, so let's get going. Okay, so the first thing that I did with this is I give it a good clean with clean slate. Um, just, you know, put as much needed with a clean rag and then just go throughout the whole piece. Then go back with another clean rag and let it sit for 10 minutes and then we're ready to paint. I already did that, so we're going to move on to our paint now. I also taped um, with rock tape the piece to separate what I'm going to be painting with once the paint and the stain so they get really a good separation so that's done so now we're going to start applying our one step paint so just make sure that before you start applying the paint you give it a good steer For this wash stand, I'm going to be using One Step Paint on the color black. I love this color because yeah, when it dries, it dries to a true black. Um, I will be applying two coats um, and I highly recommend that whenever you use One Step Paint, you do at least two coats of paint for the perfect coverage. So as you see, I didn't strip, I didn't sand, I did not do anything to the piece other than just cleaning it with clean slate. Um, this paint uh, sticks to anything. I had used it before on laminate, metals, and other surfaces to a great result. So the only thing you have to do is to make sure that the surface is absolutely clean. So this is going to be trying to a flat chalky finish um, so whoever likes this type of finishes flat um, this is the perfect paint to use however I'm going to be using a wax at the end for a beautiful sheen I'm gonna be using my your own beast wax on a custom color that I'm gonna make uh, once the paint is dry and I have done the two coats um, I'm going to have this beautiful satin finish and that's what I'm looking for specifically with this uh, wash tan because the stain is going to be a little bit shiny. It's going to have a shine to it. So that's what we're looking for. Um, so it matches both finishes. We are just going to wrap up this drawer and we're going to let it dry for about 20 minutes to 30 minutes. We completed our two coats of one step paint and we're ready to move on to the gel stain part. We are ready to apply our gel stain. So just give it a good steer and uh, you can start applying your gel stain. This is a water-based gel stain and uh, it's all natural made of um, crushed walnuts. The color we're using is English walnut. And the way to apply it is you can just apply with a chippy brush as I'm doing now, or you can apply with a foam brush or even with a little uh, a towel. The gel stain doesn't drip. It has a thick consistency and I love it because even in a horizontal area, you can apply without any drips. And it's very easy to get it through the surface that you're applying it. You can use this gel stain on raw wood. Um, 
as you see we are using it directly onto the old stain i didn't strip i didn't sand i didn't do anything other than cleaning the piece and i'm applying directly onto the old stain um this is going to rejuvenate this piece and it's going to give it a look like it's absolutely brand new i'm going to be doing only one coat um, on the legs and on the darker parts and as you can see this piece has some lighter parts um, so I'm going to be doing most likely two coats on those on those parts just to get a little bit more consistency on the color throughout the piece very easy to apply um, it's another product that I love because it's all natural just crushed walnuts water based it smells wonderful because it has essential oils in it and it's absolutely incredible you can use it indoors there's no problem you have nothing to worry about with this gel stain so we're just going to do all the legs we're going to do the other parts and let it dry most likely for about an hour and a half two hours and the piece will be done there you go All right, so that is our piece dry now. The stain took an hour and a half to dry and it has been completely rejuvenated. The wood looks absolutely fabulous to a very nice, beautiful satin sheen. It's gorgeous. Okay, so I am very happy with the combination of colors with the black and the dark wood but I felt like the piece needed a little bit of a spark of gold. So what I decided to do is I draw a uh, design with leaves and um, I draw it there. So I'm going to be doing that with gold foil. So I'm filling my design with a uh, gilding size, which is the adhesive to uh, place the gold foil. And I'm just helping the process here after I filled um, my design with it to dry so we can place the gold foil on top of it for this gold design. So as I said, I'm just helping the process. I'm like funning it a little bit so it comes to tack fast and we can go and place our gold foil once that comes to tack. Okay, so our gilding size has come to tack so you have to pull a sheet with the gold foil and just press against it um, i'm making sure that i cover all my design with gold foil and then i press the entirety of the design with the additional sheet that comes with the gold foil so and this is a very easy process you just have to make sure that it's completely stuck and that everything's covered you can rub against it uh, to burnish it and to make sure that we have all the area covered now once that's done you can use a clean brush i usually have my own brush just for gold foil um, so it doesn't get contaminated with anything else and just brush the excess. I'm using a little brush as well just to make sure that I remove uh, the excess from the little small areas and the design is fully um, covered and uh, everything else is removed and so you have your design. I think we got it there just make sure you clean all the debris and the gold foil um, left over and there you go we got it so we have our gold foil now and uh, we are at the point where we could call it done but i like to do one last step which is protect the black with a custom wax uh, that i'm going to create with my new own bigs wax and the black uh, the same paint than we painted this furniture with. Usually with one step paint, you don't have to protect it, but 
Um, I like to do it just because black is such a delicate color um, and uh, you know like usually dirt can accumulate there and you can notice it so um, we're going to be doing this custom wax uh, for the final touch and that also is going to tone down a little bit the gold so yeah let's just get the materials and get started all right so we're going to wax our piece now and what i did is i prepare a custom wax i put in a saucer a little bit of mind your own beeswax with once the paint on black the same color that we painted our piece with so i'm covering uh, areas with the chippy brush and uh, with the wax and then once i completed that area i removed the excess with a clean rag so i'm just going to be doing that throughout the entire piece applying the wax and then removing the excess now once the piece is completely done you have to allow about 15 minutes to dry and then you can use a soft cotton rag to buff um, to a beautiful satin sheen. Now remember that the longer you allow the wax to dry the easier it is to buff and I honestly highly recommend you use this wax it's absolutely soft and nice to use with a good coverage. All right, so this is the moment when we can enjoy our final product. Uh, it turned out to be really nice. I like the combination of the wood and the dark and the black paint. And even the wax left a beautiful satin sheen. Um, I don't like it too shiny, but if somebody likes it shinier, you can just buff it to the shine you like. Um, but I think it was a really nice, very simple project. You can do it at home. You don't need to know anything. You just have to apply the products. It's as simple as that. And I'm going to tell you, this is what I do to handle my stress at home. Uh, during the pandemic, that's what I did. I concentrated on creating, doing these beautiful things, and I felt so much better. And you can do that. I also save a ton of little pieces that otherwise would go to the trash. So thank you very much for watching. Remember, there's a giveaway every single week. This week we're giving away a can of One Step Paint on Black. And just tag three friends, share it with others. Leave me your comments or your questions and I'll get back to it and I will answer to you, okay? Thank you for watching and enjoy very much what you're going to be doing. See you next week.